Oh, this workbench is kind of a mess. Let me get all this broken crap out of the way, and then we can take a look at this computer down here. Okay, here's the inside of the machine. Right now, this is an Intel DQ45CB motherboard. Uh, it's actually got a Core 2 Quad Q6700 CPU. I think it's 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, it's got no hard drive in it right now. It's got just some random optical drive. Um, but this is going to come out of here because I'm actually got, sitting over here, doing nothing, another DQ45CB motherboard with 8 gigs of RAM on it. And uh, I'm going to put that in there, give that a nice little upgrade, and take the hard drive out of that Lenovo Think Center down there. Well, actually, it's an SSD, but take the SSD out of the Think Center and put it in and replace that Think Center with it. Not because there's anything wrong with the Think Center, but because I want the quad core. Uh, for the use there, because, you know, if I ever want to run more than just when I'm running on that, it would be nice to have. Besides, it's an upgrade, it's something to do, so we might as well do it. So I'm going to get this optical drive moved out of the way, get all the cables unplugged, and then we can set to uh, installing the, uh, the new board and fixing this I.O. shield in the process. Although it might actually be just because the back of this case is bent, because it is fitting in there, there's no real issue. Hmm. Oh, well, I am going to have to fix the IO shield because I'm going to have to fix that little tab that's right there. Here's the new board installed. You almost wouldn't even tell that it's new. And the fact that everything's moved. No hard drive yet because I want to see if this works before I waste my time pulling everything out. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work, but since everything that I work on must turn into some kind of a comedy, you never know. So, plug it in, we'll see what happens. Okay, it turned off. We'll see, I'll push the power button, turn it back on. Power button's hooked up, I don't know about the front panel stuff. Okay. You have BIOS settings. Perfect. And there we go. You can see it's a Q8400. Eight gigs of RAM installed. Date and time is set up correctly. So I'm going to make sure that everything is configured properly. I usually like to put some of these things on. So, we'll put them on, you know, I'll configure all of this, and I'll get the hard drive out. I'll get the other machine. Okay, here's the Think Center pulled out, and the one problem with this is that because this thing only has DVI on it, and the monitor is VGA, I'm going to have to use my last DVI to VGA adapter, doggone it. So, I'm probably going to have to end up buying some more of those, but the object of interest is this right here. Hopefully, it isn't going to be too difficult to just kind of pivot out of place and, I guess, remove the screws from the bottom and uh, put it into the new machine. At least it's already in a, a bay adapter. Not that it would matter, it's an SSD. So, but I like to have them installed somewhere. Okay, I got the hard drive mounted. See, I removed the faceplate. Because if you want to put them in otherwise, you got to remove the power supply, and I'm not removing the power supply. So, in the way I've done this, I can actually easily, very easily, in fact, add a second hard drive if I wanted to. But now I'm going to put the faceplate back on, and I get this all the way back assembled, and we'll see if it'll boot. Okay, the system is all back together. Let's see what happens. Watch the whole boot process. And watch, now that it's all the way back together is when it won't work. At least it still posts. Windows is starting. Should just install a bunch of new drivers. And I think I'm about to run out of videotape here. Huh. But yeah, this should work. Getting devices ready. I will come back in just a minute. 
it's the save videotape. Okay, hopefully I've got enough tape to do this, but uh, the machine is in place. You can see it up there. I've got the solo stuff set up on the mixer, so if I... Let's see here. I think I'm going to run out of tape, though, but uh, if I come in here and try and test it, you can hear it. It's not coming through that. If I take it and put it on the main, you can see it now comes through that the way that it's supposed to. So that's all working. Everything is now working. And I have a nice little upgrade. So thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And this is CP666 signing off. Hope to see you next time. Till then.